Hi everyone, I'm Ali MJ and this is my YouTube channel. Before I start the content, I just want to show my appreciation to you and say thank you very much for reaching 100 subscribers and also 10,000 views for one video. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. If you like this content and didn't subscribe my channel yet, just do it right now. I have many videos coming in this Now time. let's get to the piece, Nocturne 20 in C Sharp Minor. One of the most famous and popular Chopin works. I'm not going to tell you some searchable details. I'm just going to analyze its formal and musical happenings in a simple way. Okay, Nocturne 20 has three parts. A, B, and A prime. But before part A, we have an intro. Mm, for easier discussion, I want to analogize this piece to a boatman driving on the sea. This intro is like... Mm, throwing the boat into water with some pushing. Now an exact repeat, just with loud dying on each, like an echo. intro provided the atmosphere and tonality of part A. Now I want to analogize the left hand figuration to some sea waves. You can feel it by its notation too. In this nocturne, like other Chopin nocturnes, we have a kind of impressionistic atmosphere. And in this particular nocturne, nearby all bars are based on left hand figuration. So it's like some sea waves building the rhythmic and harmonic situation for the right hand melody. Now I'm gonna play this melody and you can feel at the beginning that first waves are calm with the least harmonic changes. an open ending for our first sentence. Mm, it could be finished with tonic chord like this. But Chopin avoids it because we are going ahead to the next sentence. This time with a little higher dynamic in comparison and with more lying challenging waves. <laughs> uh, preparing our boatman for the storm. Here Forza mm, makes longer and higher waves <laughs> like an earthquake. Uh, but our boatman controls the boat immediately. Listen again. Now in part B, we have a different contrastive melody, but with the same waves figuration for left hand. Here's a common rule for middle parts of pieces, and that's using more mm, modulations or modulations, reaching to different tonalities. First sentence starts in A major, enough contrasting from part A.
the second phrase, repeat the exact melody but in transition of F sharp minor and C sharp minor. to G sharp major with a line confirmation. Don't you want to come back to the main melody and main tonality? That long confirmation on G sharp major was a dominant preparation for our main tonality C sharp minor. It's an authentic connection. Mm -hmm. uh, let's play again from ending of part B. G sharp major. This time we had a sooner and more sudden earthquake. And then we continue with tension and more line dissonant weights. that is just our code here in coda left hand stays on tonic chords with least difference and the right hand has mm, some really difficult ways that should play uh, soft and uh, piano and that's not easy I try to play it pretty well That was the actual ending. Okay, let's see it now. You can watch my performance of this beautiful night or, or just another video recommending it. Tell me your opinion about this video. If you found it useful, like this video and share it with your friends, others. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Hope you enjoy.